welcome back everybody. We're going to be talking about electrochemistry today in Unit 12, and in this lesson we're going to first be starting off with simply what is electrochemistry and ultimately what is electricity. So what is electrochemistry? Electrochemistry is the study of a chemical process that cause electrons to move. So the movement of electrons is called electricity, which can be generated by movement of electrons from one element to another, known as oxidation and reduction, or redox reaction. So anytime you guys have heard in the news recently about those hoverboards or any type of battery that's exploded and caused some sort of explosion. Cell phones. Like cell phones. This hoverboard example that I, I'm showing you guys is what happens. The battery is exposed to the atmosphere where oxygen, an oxidizer, is going to come in and start interfering with the electrons of the battery, thus causing fire, light, and explosions. So all electrochemical processes involve this redox reaction. The Leo and the Ger have to happen in order for electrons to move. So an electrochemical process is any conversion between chemical energy and electrical energy. And an electrochemical cell is any device that can convert this chemical energy into electrical energy or electrical energy into chemical energy. So what is electricity? Electricity, if we think about this, is a set of physical phenomena associated with the presence of the flow of an electrical charge. So electricity gives a wide variety of well-known effects such as lightning, static electricity, electromagnetic induction, and electrical current. So, whenever you see lightning strikes, you have to know that there is a positive and a negative portion of the lightning, and it's following a set path of ions in the atmosphere. That's why you never hold a metal umbrella. Mm-hmm. Because it's going to conduct that electrical charge because of the C of mobile valence electron. All right. So a spontaneous redox reaction is one that occurs without the aid of any outside electrical source. So it's going to produce the electrical charge on its own. Um, this is Alessandro Volta, who came up with the voltaic pile. Um, and I believe volts came from him as well. Mm -hmm. um, so if you notice, he puts together copper and zinc in this pile. And the elements, because copper and zinc, depending on their activity from table J. Which is, we should probably watch that video again yep. if you forgot about table um, J. It's going to cause the electrons to flow from one of those elements to another element. Who's more reactive, zinc or copper? Mm, I'm going to say zinc. Yeah, so if zinc is more reactive, is it being oxidized or being reduced? Well, it's higher on table J, so mm -hmm. and it's more active, so it's going to be the oxidized. Oh, so zinc is giving its electrons to copper? Yes. Gotcha. And in the process of those electrons moving from zinc to copper, it's creating electricity. And if you notice that the little negative charge on top of the voltaic pile to the positive charge, does that show the flow of electrons from negative to positive? It does. Oh. Mm -hmm. So here we have a battery, which again, we're showing the flow from the negative charge to the positive charge. So if you have, let's say, a lamp with a light bulb in it, um, and you have to put batteries into it, the wires are going to connect the negative end of the battery to the positive end, but in the middle of all that is going to be our light bulb. Mm -hmm. right. Pikachu, too. Yeah, Pika Pika. 